snow for Thomas. It was winter time on the island of Sodor. The wind was cold, and it looked like it would snow very soon. So all the engines had to wear their snow plows. Hello, Edward. All ready for the snow? Oh, yes, Percy. Better to be safe than sorry. But Thomas didn't like wearing his snow plow. So he puffed it to a side and did something very cheeky. I can leave my snow plow here and pretend I can't find it. So Thomas played a trick on his driver. He told him that the snow plow didn't fit and had to be removed. Now I won't have to wear it anymore. Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth's sheds. Thomas, where's your snow plow? I can't find it. If it snows, I'll just have to go out without it. That night, it did snow. The island of Sodor was soon covered in a thick blanket of fresh white snow. And when the engines puffed off to work the next morning, they were all wearing their snow plows. All except Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt was not happy. Thomas, as you don't have your snow plow, you will have to wait in the shed. It is too dangerous to go out without it. Very well, sir. Emily, since you have your snow plow, you must clear Thomas's branch line for him. Yes, sir. Thomas was delighted. I don't have to wear my snow plow. Emily was cross. She wasn't snug and warm. She was clearing snow on Thomas's branch line. It's not fair. Why do I have to wear a silly snow plow and Thomas doesn't? <laughs> Then she heard some children laughing. They're probably laughing at me because I look so silly with my snow plow on. This made Emily even more cross. But as Emily cleared the tracks, she saw the children playing in the snow. <laughs> some were playing on sleds and some were rolling great big snowballs. Children aren't laughing at me. They're just having fun in the snow. Maybe the snow can be fun after all. Thomas was still in the shed. It seemed like a very long day. <sighs> at least I don't have to wear my snow plow like Emily. But Emily was having a great time now. She was having so much fun. She cleared the tracks in no time. <laughs> Emily, as you have done such a good job clearing the tracks, you can take Annie and Clarabelle out on Thomas's branch line. Oh, thank you, sir. Emily was very pleased. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was very bored. I wish I had something to do. I don't know why you don't like your snow plow, Thomas. Clearing snow is great fun. Really? And now I get to take Annie and Clarabelle out on your branch line. Thomas was very surprised. But they're my coaches. That's my job. You can't go out today, Thomas. Not without your snow plow. Thomas watched as Emily was coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle. See you later, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Hope your snow plow turns up soon. Thomas wasn't happy at all. He wished he could go out in the snow with Annie and Clarabelle. 
Then Thomas had an idea. If I get my snowplow, Sir Topham Hat will let me pull Annie and Clarabelle. So Thomas puffed quietly away. Thomas looked for the siding where he had left his snowplow. But none of the sidings had been cleared. They were all covered in snow. They all looked the same. Oh no! The snow has covered up my snowplow and hidden it. Thomas didn't want to go back to the shed. He wanted to pull Annie and Clarabelle in the snow. Maybe I don't need my snowplow. After all, Emily has cleared my line. So Thomas puffed away to find Emily. Then there was trouble. It started to snow again. I must find Emily. I must find Emily. Thomas puffed as hard as he could through the falling snow. But the snow was getting thicker and thicker and soon. Thomas was well and truly stuck. Oh, no! The snow kept falling. It got higher and higher. Oh, help! I wish I hadn't hidden my snowplow now. Thomas thought he would be... Thomas thought he would be stuck all day and all night. His foot... His footplate was frosty and his funnel was freezing. No one will ever find me here. Then, Thomas heard some chuffing and puffing. I wonder who that could be. <coughs> Emily! Thomas! I'm so pleased to see you. Thomas, what happened? Are you stuck? We went to look for you in the shed, but you weren't there. The top of hat looked cross. Thomas, you were told not to go out without your snowplow. I'm sorry, sir. I hid my snowplow, and now I can't find it anywhere. That's why we've been looking for you. We found your snowplow buried in the snow. Thank you, Emily. Sorry, sir. Thomas was very happy to have his snowplow back. From now on, I'll always wear my snowplow when it snows. I'm glad you've learned your lesson, Thomas. Tomorrow, you can clear the tracks for Emily. But before that, I've got something to show you. Follow me. <laughs> Thomas and Emily puffed through the snow. And soon, they arrived at the field where the children were playing. Wow! Wow! Look at all those snowmen! <laughs> I think that one looks very smart. Very smart indeed, sir. A snowman needs a hat in this weather. Oh. <laughs> Clearly, I must try to keep my hat on as well. Ha 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 